Ghanaian cuisine, fufu, whipped tapioca, wakai, rice and red beans, banku, steamed tapioca, kenke, boiled cornmeal Ghana is a West African country with a rich and diverse culinary tradition. One of the most popular and beloved dishes in Ghanaian cuisine is fufu, a starchy dough made from cassava, yams, or plantains that is served with a variety of soups and stews. In this article, we will explore the history, ingredients, preparation, and cultural significance of fufu, as well as other popular Ghanaian dishes such as wakai, banku, and kenke. Fufu Fufu is a staple food in many African countries, and is particularly popular in West and Central Africa. In Ghana, fufu is typically made from cassava, yams, or plantains that are boiled, mashed, and then formed into a smooth, doughy ball. Fufu is typically eaten with a soup or stew made from meat, fish, or vegetables, and is often used as a utensil to scoop up the soup or stew. Fufu is a labor-intensive dish to prepare, requiring a lot of pounding and kneading to achieve the desired texture. Traditionally, fufu was made using a large wooden mortar and pestle, but today, many Ghanaians use electric blenders or food processors to make the dough. While fufu may be time-consuming to make, it is a beloved and essential part of Ghanaian cuisine, and is often served at special occasions and celebrations. Wakai. Another popular Ghanaian dish is wakai, a combination of rice and beans that is cooked together to create a flavorful and nutritious meal. The dish gets its name from the Hausa word for beans, wake, which is combined with the English word rice to create wakai. Wakai is typically served with a variety of accompaniments, such as fried plantains, boiled eggs, and spicy tomato sauce. To prepare wakai, rice and beans are boiled together with a variety of spices and seasonings, including bay leaves, cloves, and garlic. The resulting dish is flavorful and filling, with a slightly nutty flavor from the beans. Wakai is a popular street food in Ghana, and can be found at food stalls and markets throughout the country. Banku Banku is another popular Ghanaian dish made from a starchy dough that is typically served with soup or stew. Unlike fufu, which is made from cassava, yams, or plantains, banku is made from a combination of cornmeal and cassava flour that is mixed with water and then cooked until it forms a thick, smooth dough. Banku is a versatile dish that can be served with a variety of soups and stews, including fish soup, chicken stew, and okra stew. It is a popular dish in coastal regions of Ghana, where it is often eaten with fish and seafood. Kenke Kenke is a similar dish to banku, but is made from ground corn that is mixed with water and then boiled until it forms a soft, doughy consistency. Like fufu and banku, kenke is typically served with soup or stew, and is a popular dish in coastal regions of Ghana. Kenke is a versatile dish that can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and is often served with spicy tomato sauce, fried fish, or boiled eggs. It is a staple food in many parts of Ghana, and is enjoyed by people of all ages and social classes. In addition to their delicious flavors and textures, these dishes also have cultural and historical significance in Ghana. Fufu, for example, is believed to have originated in the Ashanti region of Ghana, and is an important part of Ashanti culture and tradition. The pounding and kneading of fufu is often accompanied by drumming and singing, creating a festive and celebratory atmosphere. Similarly, wakai is a dish that has its roots in northern Ghana, and is often associated with the Hausa people. The dish has become popular throughout Ghana, 
and is now enjoyed by people of all ethnicities and backgrounds. Banku and Kenke are also dishes with a rich history and cultural significance. Both dishes are believed to have originated in coastal regions of Ghana, where they were often eaten by fishermen and traders. Today, these dishes are enjoyed by people throughout the country, and are an important part of Ghanaian culinary culture. Beyond their cultural and culinary significance, these dishes also have nutritional benefits. They are all made from starchy ingredients such as cassava, yams, or corn, which provide energy and nutrients. In addition, many of these dishes are served with soups and stews that are rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals. This combination of starchy carbohydrates and nutrient-dense soups and stews makes these dishes a healthy and satisfying meal option. Finally, it is worth noting that Ghanaian cuisine is not limited to these four dishes alone. There are many other delicious and unique dishes in Ghanaian cuisine, including jollof rice, kelewele, spicy fried plantains, and red red, a bean stew served with fried plantains. These dishes reflect the diversity and creativity of Ghanaian cuisine, and are a testament to the country's rich culinary heritage. The popularity of Ghanaian cuisine has also spread beyond the borders of Ghana, with many Ghanaian restaurants and food trucks now found in cities around the world. This has helped to introduce more people to the unique and delicious flavors of Ghanaian cuisine, and has helped to raise awareness of the country's rich culinary heritage. In recent years, there has also been a growing interest in using traditional and locally sourced ingredients in Ghanaian cuisine. Many chefs and foodies in Ghana are now using organic and sustainable ingredients, such as locally grown fruits and vegetables. To create healthier and more environmentally friendly versions of their favorite dishes. This focus on quality and sustainability has helped to elevate Ghanaian cuisine to a new level, and has helped to position it as a leading culinary destination in West Africa. In addition, there has been a growing interest in culinary tourism in Ghana, with many food enthusiasts and travelers coming to the country to explore its rich and diverse culinary traditions. Food tours and cooking classes are now available in many parts of Ghana, giving visitors the opportunity to learn more about the history. Ingredients and techniques behind some of the country's most beloved dishes Finally, it is worth noting that Ghanaian cuisine is not just about the food itself, but also about the social and cultural aspects of dining. In Ghana, food is often shared with family, friends, and neighbors, and is a way of bringing people together and fostering a sense of community. Whether enjoyed at a street food stall or a fancy restaurant, Ghanaian cuisine is a social and cultural experience that is as much about the people and the atmosphere as it is about the food itself. Another aspect of Ghanaian cuisine that is worth exploring is the use of spices and herbs in cooking. Many Ghanaian dishes are flavored with a variety of spices and herbs, such as ginger, garlic, cumin, coriander, and chili peppers. These spices not only add flavor, but also offer a range of health benefits, such as boosting immunity, reducing inflammation, and aiding digestion. Ginger, for example, is a popular spice in Ghanaian cuisine that is often used to add a spicy, warming flavor to dishes. It is also believed to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that can help to improve overall health. Garlic is another common ingredient in Ghanaian cooking, and is known for its strong and pungent flavor. It is believed to have antibacterial and antiviral properties, and is often used to boost immunity and fight off colds and other illnesses. 
Cumin and coriander are two spices that are often used together in Ghanaian cuisine to add a warm and earthy flavor to dishes. Libyan cuisine, bazine, solid rice, couscous, Tunisian steamed rice dish, sharpa libya, soup, basida, solid cake. Libyan cuisine is a rich and diverse tradition that reflects the country's history, culture, and geography. From the hearty and filling bazine to the delicate and flavorful couscous, Libyan cuisine is full of unique and delicious dishes that are sure to delight and satisfy anyone who tries them. One of the most popular and well-known dishes in Libyan cuisine is bazine, a type of dense and filling bread that is traditionally served with meat or vegetable stews. Bazine is made from a mixture of flour and water, which is kneaded and shaped into a round loaf. The loaf is then baked in a special oven called a taboon, which gives it a crispy crust and a soft, chewy interior. Bazine is often eaten with a spicy tomato sauce and a variety of meats, such as lamb or chicken. Another popular dish in Libyan cuisine is couscous, a type of steamed semolina that is similar to the North African dish of the same name. Libyan couscous is typically served with a variety of vegetables and meats, such as lamb, chicken, or beef. The dish is often flavored with a range of spices and seasonings, such as cinnamon, cumin, and coriander, which give it a rich and complex flavor. One of the most beloved soups in Libyan cuisine is sharba libya, a hearty and flavorful soup made with a variety of vegetables, meat, and spices. The soup typically includes ingredients such as tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, onions, and garlic, and is often flavored with cumin, coriander, and other spices. Sharba libya is often served with crusty bread and is a popular meal during the colder months. Another popular dish in Libyan cuisine is asida, a type of dense and sticky bread that is often served with honey or clarified butter. Asida is made from a mixture of flour and water, which is kneaded and shaped into a ball. The ball is then flattened and cooked on a hot griddle or in a special oven. Asida is often eaten with a variety of sweet or savory toppings, such as dates, nuts, or meat stews. In addition to these popular dishes, Libyan cuisine also includes a variety of other delicious and unique dishes. Such as shakshuka, a dish made with eggs and tomatoes, harissa, a spicy paste made from chili peppers and garlic, and spins, a type of fried donut. One of the unique aspects of Libyan cuisine is the way it has adapted to the country's geography and climate. Libya is a large country with a varied landscape, including coastal regions, deserts, and mountains. As a result, different regions of the country have developed their own distinct culinary traditions, using ingredients that are locally available. For example, in the coastal regions of Libya, Seafood is a popular ingredient in many dishes. The Mediterranean Sea is rich in fish and seafood, and popular dishes include grilled fish, seafood stews, and fried calamari. In the desert regions of Libya, on the other hand, lamb and camel meat are more common, as well as dishes made with grains and legumes like couscous and lentils. Another interesting aspect of Libyan cuisine is the way it reflects the country's history and cultural influences. Libya has been inhabited by various civilizations throughout history, including the Phoenicians, Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and Ottomans. Each of these cultures has left its mark on Libyan cuisine, with dishes that draw on a range of culinary traditions and ingredients. For example, the use of spices and herbs in Libyan cuisine can be traced back to the Arab and Ottoman influences. Spices like cumin, coriander, and cinnamon are commonly used in Libyan dishes, along with herbs like mint and parsley. The use of olive oil in Libyan cuisine is also a legacy of the country's Greek and Roman past. Finally, it is worth noting that Libyan cuisine is not just about the food, but also about the social and cultural aspects of dining. 
In Libya, food is often shared with family, friends, and neighbors, and is a way of bringing people together and fostering a sense of community. This emphasis on community and social connection is reflected in the way that many Libyan dishes are served, with large platters of food meant to be shared among a group. In addition to its rich history and cultural influences, Libyan cuisine is also known for its health benefits. Many traditional Libyan dishes are made with fresh, whole ingredients that are rich in vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. For example, the zine, which is made from flour and water, is a good source of complex carbohydrates and fiber. While couscous provides a range of vitamins and minerals, including iron, magnesium, and vitamin B6. In addition, many Libyan dishes are low in fat and calories, making them a healthy choice for those looking to maintain a balanced diet. For example, Sharba Libya, which is typically made with a variety of vegetables and lean meats, is a nutritious and filling meal that is relatively low in calories. Finally, it is worth noting that Libyan cuisine is not just about the main dishes, but also about the desserts and sweets. Libyan desserts are often made with honey, dates, or other natural sweeteners, and are typically rich and flavorful. One popular dessert is baklava, a sweet pastry made with layers of phyllo dough, chopped nuts, and honey syrup. Another popular Libyan dessert is halwa, a dense and sweet confection made from sesame seeds, honey, and nuts. Halwa is often served with coffee or tea, and is a popular treat during special occasions and holidays. In recent years, Libyan cuisine has gained more recognition and popularity around the world, particularly among food enthusiasts and travelers. This increased interest in Libyan cuisine has led to the opening of more Libyan restaurants and food stalls in various countries. Giving people the opportunity to try and experience the unique flavors and ingredients of Libyan cuisine. Moreover, the popularity of Libyan cuisine has spurred a growing interest in the country's food culture and traditions. Many people are now exploring Libyan recipes online and in cookbooks, and some are even taking cooking classes to learn how to make traditional Libyan dishes at home. This interest in Libyan cuisine and culture is also contributing to the promotion of sustainable and ethical food practices. Many Libyan dishes feature locally sourced and seasonal ingredients, which promotes the use of sustainable farming practices and reduces the environmental impact of food production. Additionally, the emphasis on community and social connection in Libyan cuisine encourages people to share meals and reduce food waste. While Libyan cuisine has gained popularity in recent years, it is important to note that it is still relatively unknown and underrepresented in the global culinary scene. This is partly due to the limited exposure of Libyan cuisine in international media and the lack of representation of Libyan chefs and restaurants in major food events and competitions. To address this issue, there is a growing movement among Libyan chefs, food writers, and advocates to promote and showcase Libyan cuisine on a larger scale. Through social media platforms and food blogs, these individuals are sharing recipes, stories, and insights into Libyan culinary traditions and ingredients. Additionally, some Libyan chefs and restaurateurs are opening up pop-up restaurants and hosting food events and workshops to introduce people to Libyan cuisine and culture. These events not only offer a chance to taste and learn about Libyan food, but also provide an opportunity to connect with Libyan communities and cultures. Overall, the promotion and representation of Libyan cuisine is an important step in celebrating the diversity and richness of global culinary traditions. Brazilian cuisine, feijoada, bean sauce, coxinhas, stuffed chicken cake, churrasco, Brazilian barbecue, brigadeiro, chocolate candy. Brazilian cuisine is a rich and diverse culinary tradition that reflects the country's geography, history, and cultural influences. 
From the hearty and filling feijoada to the sweet and decadent brigadeiro, Brazilian cuisine offers a wide range of unique and delicious dishes that are sure to delight and satisfy anyone who tries them. One of the most iconic dishes in Brazilian cuisine is feijoada, a hearty stew made with black beans, pork, and sausage. Feijoada is typically served with rice, collard greens, and orange slices, and is a popular dish throughout Brazil. This rich and flavorful stew is often prepared over several hours, allowing the flavors of the beans, meat, and spices to meld together into a delicious and satisfying meal. Another popular Brazilian dish is coxinhas, a type of savory pastry filled with shredded chicken and spices. Coxinhas are typically fried and have a crispy exterior and a soft, flavorful interior. They are often served as a snack or appetizer and are a popular street food in Brazil. Churrasco is another beloved dish in Brazilian cuisine, a type of grilled meat that is typically served at large gatherings and celebrations. Churrasco can include a variety of meats, such as beef, chicken, and pork, and is often seasoned with salt, garlic, and other spices. The meat is grilled over an open flame or on a skewer, giving it a smoky and delicious flavor. Finally, no discussion of Brazilian cuisine would be complete without mentioning brigadeiro, a sweet and decadent chocolate truffle that is a popular dessert throughout Brazil. Brigadeiro is made from condensed milk, cocoa powder, and butter, and is often rolled in chocolate sprinkles or other toppings. This rich and indulgent dessert is a favorite among Brazilians of all ages and is a must-try for anyone who loves chocolate. In addition to these popular dishes, Brazilian cuisine also includes a wide range of other delicious and unique dishes. Such as moqueca, a seafood stew, pau de queijo, cheese bread, and caipirinha, a cocktail made with lime and cachaça. Brazilian cuisine has a strong regional identity, with each region of the country having its own distinct culinary traditions and specialties. For example, in the Amazon region, the cuisine is heavily influenced by the local indigenous culture and features ingredients such as fish, cassava, and fruits from the rainforest. One popular dish from this region is takaka, a soup made with takipai, a broth made from cassava, jambu, a type of herb, and shrimp. In the northeastern region of Brazil, the cuisine is heavily influenced by African and indigenous cultures, and features ingredients such as coconut milk, palm oil, and seafood. One popular dish from this region is a carrier, a deep-fried fritter made from black-eyed peas and filled with spicy shrimp or other fillings. In the southern region of Brazil, the cuisine is heavily influenced by European immigrants, particularly from Italy and Germany. One popular dish from this region is churrasco, which is a type of barbecue that is often served with chimichurri sauce, a tangy and flavorful sauce made from herbs, garlic, and vinegar. Brazilian cuisine also features a unique blend of ingredients and culinary influences from around the world. For example, the use of coconut milk, palm oil, and spices such as ginger and curry powder in Brazilian cuisine reflects the country's connections to Africa and Southeast Asia. In recent years, Brazilian cuisine has gained more recognition and popularity around the world particularly due to the success of Brazilian churrasque areas and the popularity of Brazilian street food. Brazilian chefs and restaurateurs are also gaining more recognition and acclaim on the international culinary scene, with many bringing a modern twist to traditional Brazilian dishes. In addition to its rich and diverse culinary traditions, Brazilian cuisine also has a strong connection to social and cultural values. 
Food plays an important role in Brazilian society, with meals often being shared with family and friends, and hospitality being a key aspect of Brazilian culture. For example, the tradition of churrasco reflects the importance of community, with large groups of people gathering together to share a meal and socialize. Similarly, feijoada, which is traditionally served on Saturdays, is a symbol of togetherness and family, with multiple generations often coming together to enjoy the meal. Furthermore, Brazilian cuisine is closely tied to the country's agricultural heritage, with many dishes featuring locally sourced and seasonal ingredients. This emphasis on fresh and sustainable ingredients reflects a broader commitment to environmental sustainability and responsible food practices. In recent years, there has been a growing movement in Brazil towards promoting and celebrating traditional cuisine and culinary heritage. This has included initiatives to support local farmers and artisans, as well as efforts to document and preserve traditional recipes and cooking techniques. Moreover, Brazilian cuisine has become an important cultural export, with Brazilian restaurants and food products gaining popularity around the world. This has created new opportunities for Brazilian chefs and entrepreneurs to showcase the richness and diversity of Brazilian cuisine and culture on a global stage. Beyond the traditional dishes and values, Brazilian cuisine is also characterized by its creativity and innovation. Brazilian chefs are constantly experimenting with new flavors, techniques, and ingredients, and are known for their bold and inventive culinary creations. One example of this creativity is the rise of modern Brazilian cuisine, which combines traditional Brazilian flavors and ingredients with modern cooking techniques and presentation. This has led to the creation of new and exciting dishes that reflect the country's culinary heritage while also showcasing its modern and innovative spirit. Another example of Brazilian culinary innovation is the growing trend towards plant-based and vegetarian cuisine. With its abundant supply of fresh produce and plant-based ingredients, Brazil has become a hub for plant-based cuisine, with many restaurants and chefs specializing in vegetarian and vegan dishes. Moreover, Brazilian cuisine is also known for its vibrant and colorful presentation, with many dishes featuring a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables. This focus on aesthetics reflects the country's vibrant and lively culture, and has helped to make Brazilian cuisine a feast for both the taste buds and the eyes. In recent years, Brazilian cuisine has also become more accessible to a global audience, with many Brazilian restaurants and food products now available in international markets. This increased exposure has helped to raise awareness of Brazilian cuisine and culture, and has allowed people from around the world to experience the unique flavors and traditions of Brazilian cuisine. Another important aspect of Brazilian cuisine is its connection to the country's history of colonialism and slavery. Many of the ingredients and cooking techniques used in Brazilian cuisine were brought to the country by Portuguese colonizers and African slaves, and reflect the complex and often painful history of Brazil's past. For example, the use of palm oil in Brazilian cuisine has its roots in West African cooking traditions and was introduced to Brazil by African slaves. Similarly, the use of salt cod in Brazilian dishes such as bacalhau, a salt cod stew, reflects the country's long-standing cultural and economic ties with Portugal. Despite this complicated history, Brazilian cuisine has also been a site of resistance and cultural expression for marginalized communities. For example, the Afro-Brazilian dish moqueca, a seafood stew made with coconut milk and dent oil. 
is a celebration of Afro-Brazilian culinary traditions and a symbol of resistance against cultural assimilation. Moreover, Brazilian cuisine has also been influenced by the country's indigenous peoples, who have contributed a range of unique and flavorful ingredients to the country's culinary repertoire. These include fruits such as acai and cupuaçu, as well as staple crops such as cassava and manioc. Tiramisu is a famous Italian dessert. Tiramisu is a classic Italian dessert that has become a beloved culinary icon around the world. This rich and decadent dessert is made with layers of espresso soaked ladyfingers and a creamy mascarpone cheese filling, and is often dusted with cocoa powder for a finishing touch. The origins of tiramisu are somewhat unclear, with various stories and legends circulating about its creation. Some sources attribute the invention of tiramisu to the city of Treviso in northern Italy, while others suggest that it was first created in the city of Siena. Regardless of its origins, tiramisu has become one of the most popular and recognizable desserts in the world. Its rich and creamy texture, combined with the bold flavors of espresso and cocoa, make it a favorite among dessert lovers everywhere. One of the key ingredients in tiramisu is mascarpone cheese, a soft and creamy cheese that is made from whole cream and citric acid. The cheese is typically combined with eggs, sugar, and sometimes liquor such as marsala wine, to create the rich and flavorful filling that is the hallmark of tiramisu. Another important component of tiramisu is espresso which is used to soak the ladyfingers and infuse the dessert with its bold and complex flavor. The espresso is often mixed with liquor such as rum or brandy, which adds an extra layer of complexity and depth to the dessert. Tiramisu is typically assembled in layers, with the ladyfingers soaked in espresso forming the base of the dessert. The mascarpone cheese filling is then spread over the ladyfingers, creating a rich and creamy layer that is both sweet and tangy. The dessert is usually finished with a dusting of cocoa powder, which adds a touch of bitterness and depth to the overall flavor profile. In recent years, there has been a growing trend towards experimenting with new and innovative variations on the classic tiramisu recipe. Some chefs have added new flavors and ingredients, such as fruit or chocolate, while others have played with the presentation and texture of the dessert. In addition to its rich history and traditional recipe, tiramisu has also become a popular dessert for special occasions and celebrations. Its elegant presentation and rich flavors make it a favorite for weddings, birthdays, and other festive occasions. Tiramisu has also become a popular dessert in many restaurants and cafes around the world, with chefs and pastry chefs putting their own spin on the classic recipe. Some variations include using different types of liqueur, such as amaretto or kalua, to soak the ladyfingers, or adding fresh fruits such as strawberries or raspberries to the filling. Moreover, tiramisu has also inspired a range of other desserts and dishes, from tiramisu cheesecake to tiramisu pancakes. These creative variations often use the same flavors and ingredients as the classic tiramisu recipe, but in new and unexpected ways. However, despite the popularity of these variations, the classic tiramisu recipe remains a beloved and iconic dessert that is synonymous with Italian cuisine and culture. Its rich and complex flavors, elegant presentation, and cultural significance make it a true culinary treasure that has earned its place among the world's most beloved desserts. In recent years, there has also been a growing trend towards making tiramisu at home, with many people discovering the joys of making this classic dessert in their own kitchens. 
homemade tiramisu allows for experimentation with different flavors and techniques, and can be a fun and rewarding culinary project for dessert lovers of all skill levels. Another interesting aspect of tiramisu is its connection to the coffee culture of Italy. Espresso, which is a key ingredient in tiramisu, is an integral part of Italian coffee culture, and is enjoyed by millions of Italians every day. Tiramisu is often served at the end of a meal, alongside a cup of espresso or cappuccino. The combination of rich and creamy tiramisu with a strong and aromatic espresso is a perfect way to cap off a delicious meal and linger over good conversation. Moreover, tiramisu has also become a popular dessert for coffee shops and cafes around the world. Many cafes offer their own unique variations on the classic recipe, and some even serve tiramisu-flavored coffee drinks, such as tiramisu lattes or cappuccinos. In recent years, there has also been a growing trend towards using more sustainable and ethically sourced ingredients in tiramisu and other desserts. This has included initiatives to use fair trade coffee and cocoa powder as well as to source ingredients locally and support small-scale farmers and producers. Tiramisu is not only a delicious dessert but also a work of art. The dessert is often presented in an elegant manner, with layers of lady fingers and cream arranged in a visually appealing way. Some chefs even decorate the top of the tiramisu with chocolate shavings or berries, giving the dessert an extra touch of sophistication. The dessert's popularity has also led to the creation of a variety of prepackaged tiramisu products, such as tiramisu-flavored ice cream, cupcakes, and even cereal. These products offer a convenient and portable way to enjoy the flavors of tiramisu on the go. In addition to its popularity as a dessert, tiramisu has also inspired a range of cocktails and alcoholic drinks. Some of the most popular include tiramisu martinis, which are made with vodka, coffee liqueur, and cream, and tiramisu shots, which are made with rum, coffee liqueur, and amaretto. Beyond its culinary applications, Tiramisu has also been used as a source of inspiration for art, literature, and popular culture. It has been featured in various books, movies, and TV shows, and even inspired a song by the Italian singer-songwriter Zucchero. Moreover, tiramisu has also become a symbol of Italian culture and identity, representing the country's rich culinary traditions and sophisticated lifestyle. It is often featured in advertisements and marketing campaigns promoting Italian products and tourism, and is a favorite among Italian expats and travelers around the world. Despite its popularity, tiramisu has not been without controversy. In recent years, there have been debates over the true origins of the dessert, with some claiming that it was actually invented in Veneto. a region in northern Italy, rather than in Tuscany or other parts of Italy. Additionally, there have been concerns about the safety of consuming raw eggs, which are a key ingredient in the filling of tiramisu. Some people have suggested using pasteurized eggs or egg substitutes to reduce the risk of salmonella or other foodborne illnesses. Furthermore, there have been debates over the best way to make tiramisu, with some insisting on using traditional ingredients and techniques. While others advocate for more modern approaches and variations. For example, some chefs have experimented with using alternative ingredients such as tofu or coconut cream in place of the traditional mascarpone cheese. while others have added new flavors such as matcha or pumpkin spice to the recipe. Despite these debates, 
tiramisu remains a beloved and iconic dessert that has stood the test of time. Its rich and complex flavors, elegant presentation, and cultural significance make it a true culinary masterpiece, and a testament to the beauty and sophistication of Italian cuisine. For those looking to make tiramisu at home, there are countless recipes and variations available online and in cookbooks. Whether using traditional ingredients or experimenting with new flavors and techniques, Making tiramisu can be a fun and rewarding culinary project that is sure to impress and delight friends and family alike. Ultimately, tiramisu is a dessert that transcends its origins and has become a global culinary icon. Its rich and complex flavors, elegant presentation, and cultural significance make it a true culinary treasure, and a testament to the beauty and sophistication of Italian cuisine and culture. Indian cuisine, tandoori chicken, grilled chicken, butter chicken, butter sauce chicken, biryani, steamed rice, naan, toasted bread. Indian cuisine is known for its bold and complex flavors, vibrant colors, and wide variety of dishes. From spicy curries to fragrant biryanis, the cuisine of India is a feast for the senses, and has become a beloved and iconic cuisine around the world. One of the most popular dishes in Indian cuisine is tandoori chicken, a dish that originated in the northern region of India. Tandoori chicken is made by marinating chicken in a mixture of yogurt and spices, including cumin, coriander, turmeric, and garam masala. The chicken is then cooked in a traditional clay oven known as a tandoor, which gives it a smoky and charred flavor. Another popular chicken dish in Indian cuisine is butter chicken, also known as murgmakni. This dish is made by marinating chicken in a mixture of yogurt and spices, and then cooking it in a rich and creamy tomato-based sauce. The sauce is flavored with a blend of spices, including fenugreek, cumin, and garam masala, as well as butter and cream, giving it a rich and indulgent flavor. Biryani is another iconic dish in Indian cuisine, and is a type of spiced rice dish that is often served with meat or vegetables. The rice is flavored with a blend of spices, including cumin, cardamom, and cinnamon, and is often mixed with pieces of meat or vegetables, as well as dried fruits and nuts. Biryani is often served as a main course, and is a favorite for special occasions such as weddings and festivals. Naan is a type of bread that is often served with Indian cuisine, and is a popular accompaniment to dishes such as curry and biryani. Naan is made by baking a dough made from flour, yeast, and yogurt, and is often brushed with butter or ghee for added flavor. Naan can be served plain or flavored with ingredients such as garlic, cheese, or herbs. Indian cuisine is also known for its wide range of vegetarian dishes, including dal, a lentil-based dish that is often flavored with spices and served with rice or bread. Other popular vegetarian dishes in Indian cuisine include sog paneer, a dish made with spinach and paneer cheese, and bhangan burda, a dish made with roasted eggplant and spices. One of the most unique aspects of Indian cuisine is the use of herbs and spices, which are used to add flavor and aroma to dishes. Some of the most commonly used spices in Indian cuisine include cumin, coriander, turmeric, and fenugreek. These spices are often used in combination with other ingredients, such as ginger, garlic, and onions, to create complex and flavorful dishes. 
Indian cuisine is also known for its use of chutneys and pickles, which are often served as condiments or accompaniments to main dishes. Chutneys are made from a variety of ingredients, including fruits, vegetables, and herbs, and are often flavored with spices and vinegar. Pickles are made by preserving vegetables or fruits in a mixture of spices and vinegar, and are often served as a side dish or snack. In addition to its savory dishes, Indian cuisine is also known for its sweets and desserts. Some of the most popular desserts in Indian cuisine include gulab jamun, a sweet and rich milk-based dessert that is often served at weddings and festivals. Another popular dessert is jalebi, a deep-fried sweet that is soaked in syrup and served warm. Indian cuisine has also been influenced by the cultural and culinary traditions of neighboring countries, including China and the Middle East. For example, dishes such as chicken manchurian, a Chinese-inspired dish that is made with fried chicken and a sweet and sour sauce, have become popular in Indian cuisine. Additionally, dishes such as kebabs and biryanis have been influenced by the culinary traditions of the Middle East. Indian cuisine is also known for its various regional specialties, each with its own unique flavors and traditions. For example, the cuisine of the northern region of India is characterized by its use of dairy products such as ghee and paneer, as well as its use of wheat-based bread such as naan and roti. In contrast, the cuisine of the southern region of India is characterized by its use of rice-based dishes, such as doses and idolies, as well as its use of coconut and tamarind in many of its dishes. The cuisine of India also varies depending on the religious and cultural traditions of the region. For example, the cuisine of the Punjab region, which is home to many followers of the Sikh religion, is characterized by its use of vegetarian and meat-based dishes, as well as its use of spices such as cumin and coriander. In contrast, the cuisine of the coastal regions of India, which have a large population of Hindus and Muslims. Often include seafood and a variety of vegetarian and meat-based dishes flavored with coconut and spices. Indian cuisine has also become increasingly popular around the world, with Indian restaurants and food trucks popping up in cities across the globe. This has led to a greater appreciation for the flavors and traditions of Indian cuisine. And has also led to the creation of new and innovative dishes that blend Indian flavors with other culinary traditions. In recent years, there has also been a growing trend towards healthier and more sustainable versions of Indian cuisine. With a focus on using fresh and locally sourced ingredients, as well as reducing the use of oil and other unhealthy ingredients. This has led to the creation of new and innovative dishes, such as quinoa biryani and chickpea curry, that are both delicious and nutritious. In addition to its delicious flavors and unique culinary traditions, Indian cuisine also has a rich cultural significance. Food is an integral part of Indian culture, and many dishes are associated with religious and cultural traditions. For example, during the Hindu festival of Diwali, it is common to prepare and share sweets and snacks with family and friends. Similarly, during the Muslim festival of Eid, it is customary to prepare and share traditional meat-based dishes such as biryani and kebabs. Indian cuisine is also steeped in history and tradition, with many dishes dating back centuries. For example, 
The ancient text of Ayurveda, which is a system of traditional medicine that originated in India, includes many references to the medicinal properties of various herbs and spices used in Indian cuisine. Indian cuisine has also been influenced by its colonial past, with the British, Portuguese, and Dutch all leaving their mark on Indian cuisine. For example, dishes such as vindaloo, which is a spicy curry made with pork, vinegar, and chilies, is believed to have originated in the Portuguese colony of Goa. Despite its diversity and complexity, Indian cuisine remains accessible and approachable, with many dishes being easy to prepare and cook at home. In fact, many Indian dishes can be made with just a few simple ingredients, and can be customized to suit individual tastes and preferences. In recent years, Indian cuisine has also been influenced by global food trends, with a growing focus on healthy and plant-based eating. Many Indian chefs and home cooks are experimenting with vegetarian and vegan versions of traditional dishes, using ingredients such as tofu, lentils, and chickpeas to replace meat. One popular example is paneer tikka, a vegetarian version of tandoori chicken made with chunks of paneer cheese marinated in spices and grilled in a tandoor or on a barbecue. Another example is chana masala, a flavorful and spicy chickpea dish that can be served as a main course or a side dish. In addition to vegetarian and vegan dishes, Indian cuisine also offers a variety of gluten-free options, such as rice-based dishes like biryanis and dosas. Many Indian desserts are also naturally gluten-free, such as Ras Malai, a sweet and creamy dessert made with cottage cheese and flavored with cardamom and saffron. How to make soft and delicious cake How to make soft, moist, and delicious sponge cake Sponge cake is a classic dessert that is loved by many for its light and airy texture, and its ability to absorb flavors and toppings. While making sponge cake may seem daunting to some, it is actually quite easy with the right technique and ingredients. In this article, we will walk you through the steps to make a soft, moist, and delicious sponge cake that will impress your friends and family. Ingredients 4 large eggs, at room temperature 1 cup granulated sugar 1 cup all-purpose flour 1 teaspoon baking powder 1 quarter teaspoon salt 1 quarter cup vegetable oil 1 quarter cup milk 1 teaspoon vanilla extract Instructions Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius Grease a 9-inch cake pan and line the bottom with parchment paper in a large mixing bowl, beat the eggs with an electric mixer on high speed until they are pale and frothy, about 5 minutes. Gradually add the sugar to the eggs, 1 tablespoon at a time, while continuing to beat on high speed. In a separate bowl, sift together the flour, baking powder, and salt. Add the dry ingredients to the egg mixture in 3 batches, gently folding them in with a spatula after each addition. In a small bowl, mix together the oil, milk, and vanilla extract. Gently fold the oil mixture into the batter, being careful not to overmix. Pour the batter into the prepared cake pan and smooth the top with a spatula. Bake the cake for 25 to 30 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Remove the cake from the oven and let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes. 
run a knife around the edges of the cake to loosen it from the pan, and then invert it onto a wire rack to cool completely. Once the cake is cool, you can serve it as is, or decorate it with your favorite toppings and frosting. Tips for success Be sure to use room temperature eggs, as they will whip up better and create a lighter texture in the cake. Use a fine mesh sieve to sift the dry ingredients, as this will help to remove the ain lumps and create a smoother batter. Fold the dry ingredients into the egg mixture gently, using a spatula, to avoid overmixing and creating a tough texture. Be sure to grease and line your cake pan to ensure that the cake comes out cleanly. Let the cake cool completely before decorating it with frosting or other toppings. Variations Once you have mastered the basic sponge cake recipe, you can experiment with different flavors and variations to create your own unique creations. Here are a few ideas to get you started. Lemon sponge cake, add the zest of one lemon to the batter and top the cake with a lemon glaze or frosting. Chocolate sponge cake, replace one quarter cup of the flour with cocoa powder and top the cake with chocolate ganache or frosting. Strawberry sponge cake, add half cup of finely chopped fresh strawberries to the batter and top the cake with whipped cream and more strawberries. Additional tips. If you want to make a taller cake, double the ingredients and bake in two separate 9-inch cake pans. Once the cakes have cooled, you can stack them together with frosting or other fillings. For a lighter and fluffier texture, you can separate the egg whites from the yolks and beat the whites to stiff peaks before adding them to the batter. To prevent the cake from sticking to the pan, you can sprinkle a layer of flour or breadcrumbs on the bottom of the pan before adding the batter. If you don't have vegetable oil, you can substitute with melted butter or melted coconut oil. To add extra flavor to the cake, you can mix in spices such as cinnamon or nutmeg, or add extracts such as almond or coconut. Common mistakes to avoid Overmixing the batter can result in a tough and dense cake. Be sure to gently fold in the ingredients until just combined. Using cold eggs can result in a less fluffy texture. Be sure to bring your eggs to room temperature before using them. Opening the oven door too often during baking can cause the cake to sink in the middle. Try to resist the urge to check on the cake too often. Leaving the cake in the pan for too long can cause it to become soggy. Be sure to remove the cake from the pan and let it cool on a wire rack as soon as possible. Adding too much flour can result in a dry and crumbly cake. Be sure to measure your ingredients accurately. Alternative Sponge Cake Recipe If you are looking for a different sponge cake recipe to try, here is an alternative version that uses a different technique. Ingredients 1 cup granulated sugar 1 cup cake flour 1 teaspoon baking powder 1 quarter teaspoon salt 1 quarter cup unsalted butter, melted and cooled 1 quarter cup milk 1 teaspoon vanilla extract Instructions Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius Grease a 9-inch cake pan and line the bottom with parchment paper. In a large mixing bowl, beat the eggs with an electric mixer on high speed until they are light and frothy, about 5 minutes. Gradually add the sugar to the eggs, 1 tablespoon at a time, while continuing to beat on high speed. In a separate bowl, sift together the flour, baking powder, and salt. 
Fold the dry ingredients into the egg mixture gently, using a spatula, until just combined. In a small bowl, mix together the melted butter, milk, and vanilla extract. Gently fold the butter mixture into the batter, being careful not to overmix. Pour the batter into the prepared cake pan and smooth the top with a spatula. Bake the cake for 25 to 30 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Remove the cake from the oven and let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes. Run a knife around the edges of the cake to loosen it from the pan, and then invert it onto a wire rack to cool completely.